what I learned is uh, a lot of people can do a lot. Do your thing when you have opportunity and then get out the way and let other people do their thing and it's better. So I've noticed that when mastering an instrument, it seems as if you have to be um, have a sense of perfectionism and openness to repetition. But I wanted to know if for you that relationship was the same with improvising. <laughs> That's a good, it's a really good question. <laughs> I, you know, be, to be good at anything, you have to repeat it a lot of times. Even Charlie Parker, he did a lot of repetition. And if you like it, you're going to repeat it. So I think uh, that part of your dedication and what gives you the seriousness is that you repeat things. And we all like to repeat different things. I think the more you repeat fundamentals, because no matter how old you become, it's still hard to do a long tone. It never gets easy. I was thinking just two days ago, actually, ironically, Ryan and I were talking about practicing with a mirror. And I was saying that one of my teachers told me to practice with a mirror and look at your embouchure. So I pulled the mirror out and my embouchure looks so sad that I put the mirror away. I said, <laughs> I'm too old for this. I think it's also good maybe for Ted to answer uh, this, this question because he plays a lot of instruments very, very well. Um, basically, anything that you work on, you get better at. And that's it. So you decide what you want to work on. You decide what you want to get better at. Sometimes we don't feel like we have a direction. People always ask, you know, how do I get better at something? Is if you have a, a vision of how you want to be or what you want to be or how, how you want to be better, you just go towards it naturally. All you have to do is decide to work on it. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a real, you know, question. It's just, it's just if you do the work, you get better. So if you decide you want to get better as an improviser, just keep playing and keep playing and keep playing. Get with people that you like. Get with a piano player or a rhythm section or something. Hey, man, can we play? And just play as much as you can. My best friend in high school, we would stay up till three in the morning just playing tunes out my dad's studio, you know? So, um, and we just got better. It wasn't like, oh, every day I was like, man, I suck. You know, sometimes I did feel like that. Sometimes I felt like I was really sad. But after a while, I understood because I kept working on it that I, that I got better. So now I impart to people, young people, just keep working on it. Don't get too bogged down in, am I getting any better? Just keep working on it. Check it out in a year, you know, cause then you can really, really compare to what you were doing a year ago. But, um, you know, basically, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Also, just remember when you're improvising, it's your thing. It doesn't have to be like everybody else's. It shouldn't be. When you find a thing you want to play and you hear a certain way, whether people like it or they don't like it, it's yours. And make it be yours and just hold it up and be proud of it and just keep working on it. It's your thing. There's no pattern or some kind of one way to be. It's many ways to be. One, two. One, two.